Welcome everyone to the first lesson of our course on chip power integrity. Today we embark on an exciting journey as we dwell into a foundation of this field, beginning with a comprehensive overview of system on chip (SOC) for short. We will explore why SOC is a compelling choice in today's world. A fundamental force shaping the SOC landscape is Moore's law. We will unravel its significance and its impact on chip design. We will acquaint you with the essential terms used in chip design. This knowledge is invaluable as we progress throughout the course. To demystify the chip design process, we will use an urban analogy to explore the application-specific integrated circuit design flow. Lastly, we'll highlight some of the standout features you can expect in a modern-day SOC. An overview of system on chip (SOC) for short. An SOC is similar to a tiny computer that encapsulates all the essential components required to drive a wide variety of electronic devices. It integrates a central processor, memory unit, input-output interface, graphics, and communication module into a single unit. This consolidation allows for smaller, more energy-efficient and cost-efficient devices. The beauty of a SOC lies in its ability to pack the power of the entire computer into a chip that can fit on your palm of your hand. Instead of having multiple separate chips, SOC combines everything into a single compact package, making devices more streamlined and efficient. Why choose system on chip? Advantages and benefits. Now we'll journey back in time before the advent of system on technology to understand transformation it has brought to our electronic devices. In the pre-SOC era, electronic devices were quite different from what we know today. They used to consist of multiple separate components including a processor, memory, graphic chips and more. However, this approach had a few significant drawbacks. Devices were larger making this less portable. They were more expensive due to multiple integration of components. The power efficiency was lacking, leading to a shorter battery life. Benefits of SOC The introduction of SOC marked a turning point in the world of electronics. SOCs are designed to integrate all the necessary components into a single chip. This integration revolutionized electronic devices, making them smaller, lighter, more powerful and more energy efficient. Thanks to SOC, we can now carry around powerful computers in our pockets, connecting people all over the world and access information and entertainment at our fingertips. SOCs have transformed the landscape of electronic devices, introducing an era of compact, powerful and energy efficient technology. They are becoming the driving force behind our smartphones, laptops, wearables, and even our cars, shaping the way in which we live, work, and play. Applications of SOC Now, let's explore some of the remarkable applications of SOC that have changed the way we live and work. Smartphones SOCs are brains of smartphones, enabling us to make calls, send text, browse the web, use apps, and play games. Laptops SOCs are increasingly popular in laptops, offering a balance of portability and power. Wearables SOC power wearable devices such as smartwatches and fitness trackers, allowing us to monitor fitness, control music and receive smartphone notifications. Cars SOC are also making their way into cars, enhancing control over features like climate, entertainment and more. Some of the notable examples of impact of SOC are Let's take a moment to acknowledge the real-world impact of SOC in wearables. In Texas, a man credits his smartwatch for saving his life by detecting a heart rhythmic irregularities. In another instance, a smartwatch dialed 911 coming to aid for a woman in United States during a medical emergency. These examples underscore the profound impact of SOC in wearables where technology directly contributes in preserving lives. SOC have truly revolutionized the way in which we interact with technology and have brought about a new area of innovation. 
as we continue to push the boundaries of technology, SOC will remain at the heart of innovation, enhancing the way in which we live, work and engage with digital world. Moore's Law – The Driving Force of Technological Evolutions Now, we'll talk about a topic that has played a vital role in shaping the world of technology for more than half a century. Moore's Law This law was named after Gordon Moore, one of the co-founders of Intel, and it has been a driving force behind the rapid evolution of our digital world. Understanding Moore's Law In 1965, Gordon Moore made a groundbreaking observation that the number of transistors on a microchip would double approximately every two years. This seemingly simple principle has a significant implication in the technology industry. Some of the key implications Moore's law has enabled exponential computational growth leading to technological advancements which were once impossible. By packing more transistors into smaller space, Moore's law has led the development of smaller, more powerful electronic devices such as smartphones. Doubling the transistor density per unit cost has made technology more affordable, accessible, driving innovations in various industries. Moore's law has been a catalyst for continuous innovation in hardware, software and related technologies powering a breakthrough in areas such as artificial intelligence and data analytics. Some of the challenges and adaptations of Moore's laws are As we approach the physical limits of semiconductor technology, Moore's law faces challenges. However, industry has responded with innovations such as multi-core processors, 3D stacking and quantum computing. Despite these challenges, Moore's law remains a foundational principle in the technology sector. It continues to propel into an era of constant innovations, shape the way in which we live, work and interact within the world. As we look at the future of technology, it's crucial to remember the enduring impact of Moore's law and its role in driving technological evolutions. Basic terminologies in chip design In previous section, we discussed the significance of Moore's law. Now, let's focus on some fundamental terminologies that have crucial throughout the journey of the chip design. Understanding these terms is essential for anyone interested in the process of designing chips that power our digital world. Let's go to some industry standard terminologies. Die. The die is a small rectangular piece cut from a large semiconductor wafer containing the actual circuitry that performs various functions. Package. The package is like a protective shield around the semiconductor die. It provides physical support, electrical connections and protections from environmental factors. PCB A printed circuit board or a PCB is a platform that holds the interconnect of various components together, including semiconductors and package. It serves as a backbone of electronic devices. Electronic Design Automation EDA. EDA or Electronic Design Automation encompasses a suite of software tools and methodologies used in ASIC design. EDA tools assist engineers in designing, verifying and simulating complex electronical systems. Integrated Circuit Finally, at the core of our discussion is the Integrated Circuit, often referred to as an IC. An IC is a compact electronic circuit that consists of various interconnect components, all embedded on a single chip. Let's go through some of the ASCII flow-specific terminologies. RTL – Register Transfer Level The ASIC flow journey begins with RTL, which stands for Register Transfer Level. In chip design, RTL is a design abstraction used to describe the flow of digital signals between registers and logic gates. It is a crucial step in creating the blueprint of the chip functionality. Netlist Next, we have a netlist. A netlist is an intermediate step of ASIC design flow. It represents the interconnection between various electronical components and provides a detailed description of chip architecture. Place and route Place and route is a crucial step in ASIC design flow. During this phase, engineers determine the physical placement of components on the chip and establish the optimal routing of interconnections. 
This ensures that the chip operates as intended. Layout Layout refers to the physical arrangements of components including transistors, interconnects and wires on a silicon wafer. The layout translates the logical design into physical structure guiding the manufacturing process. Power Delivery Network The power delivery network is a crucial aspect in ASIC design. It encompasses the complex infrastructure for distributing the power within the chip, ensuring that each and every component receives the appropriate voltage and current essential for optimal chip performance and power efficiency. ASIC Application Specific Integrated Circuit Lastly, let's revisit ASIC, which we mentioned before. As ASIC is the end goal of a design flow, it's custom designed microchip optimized for a specific application, offering high performance and tailored solution. ASIC is different from SOC as it is designed for a specific purpose, which makes it more complex and less flexible than SOC. ASICs are commonly used where power, performance and functionalities are critical. Example, networking equipment, high performance computing, while SOCs are prevalent in consumer electronics such as laptops and smartphones. Familiarizing ourselves with these chip design terminologies enriches our understanding in the complexity involved in creating integrated circuits. ASIC Design Flow An Urban City Planning Analogy In previous section, we discussed the fundamental terminologies used in chip design. Now, we'll deep dive into the complex world of ASIC design. Today, we'll guide you through the ASIC design flow using an analogy of a urban city planning. We'll take you through the both back-end and front-end ASIC design flows, drawing parallels with city planning and construction. Front-end ASIC design flow, urban city planning and blueprinting. Stage 1. Specifications, similar to the vision of the city. The ASIC design flow begins with a specification phase, which is like the vision of the city. Urban planners outline the goal and the requirement of a city, and we outline the goal and requirement of ASIC. Stage 2 Architecture design, similar to the master plan. Next comes the architecture design, which is similar to the master plan of the city. We decide on major components and their interconnections must like city planners decide where roads, parks and buildings should be placed. Stage 3 RTL design similar to blueprints. Then we move to RTL design which is like designing a detailed building plan. We specify how the data flow between components and interacts at a logic level. Stage 4 functional verification similar to a simulating a city life before construction we simulate this and test much like urban planners simulate test city life scenarios functional verification assures our ASIC works in various digital scenarios stage 5 synthesis similar to building structures in simple terms simple synthesis is like turning our digital plan into our real worlds just like how we build actual buildings in our city it is what makes our ASIC come in life. Backend ASIC design flow, constructing the city. Stage 6 Floor planning, similar to land on occasion. Now let's switch gear to backend design flow. Floor planning allocates space, like assigning land in a city. We decide where each and every ASIC will decide. Stage 7 Placement, similar to building placements. Placement is like placing building in allocated land. We strategically position components for optimal functionality and connectivity. Stage 8. Power distribution, similar to energy grid. Power distribution is our energy grid. We ensure every component receives the right amount of power to functional efficiency. Stage 9. Clock tree synthesis, similar to internal topology. Clock tree synthesis is like designing city's internet topology. It ensures the timing signals flow seamlessly through our ASIC chip. Stage 10 Routing, similar to road networks. Routing creates road networks in our digital life. 
We establish connections between components for data to flow smoothly. Stage level Physical verification Similar to safety checks Physical verification is a safety check. DRC and LVS checks ensures our city is built correctly as per rules. Stage 12 Power integrity analysis Similar to building a resilient city. Power integrity analysis is like building a resilient city. We ensure our ASIC can handle power fluctuations and challenges. Stage 13 Sign off, similar to city inspection. Finally, we reach to sign off, our city inspection. We ensure our ASIC is ready for digital world. Just as cities are meticulously planned and constructed, ASIC design flow follows a precise flow from vision to construction. Modern day SOCs As we come to end of our exploration of ASIC design using urban analogy, let's turn our attention into the fascinating world of system-on-chip te technology. These cutting-edge SOCs serve as a foundation of our modern digital landscapes, shaping outstanding capabilities and powering a wide range of applications across different devices. In conclusion, modern system-on-chip technology represents a marvel of engineering, offering advanced technologies and applications that touch every aspect of our life. These SOCs are invisible heroes behind the devices we rely on daily.